my four, take one. Horrors of War is we're taking three traditional horror stories, a ghost story, a Frankenstein type story, and a werewolf story, and putting it in a World War II setting in the style of like Band of Brothers or Saving Private Ryan. The reason why I think Horrors of War will be successful is because above any other film that I've been involved with and I've had friends that have done features that haven't left stall at a certain point, they've either gotten small distribution and made a little bit of money or they haven't got distribution at all. I, I think that this has a lot of potential because of the way it's using cross-genre with horror and, 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 and war films. And, and I think the meat of it actually is that it's a good drama. There are three good dramas. They just happen to be set in World War II. They just happen to be about soldiers. But you know, you could probably take those stories and, and, and graft them onto other places, other times. It's, you know, uh, true and tested storytelling. You know, it's good drama. It just happens to be horror movies. And I think, I think if we stick to that and we, and we hold to that, that I think that we're going to come up, come out with something that will be really special, and hopefully we'll make some money. There are people that are fanatic horror fans, and we're juxtapositioning it with World War II. We're doing something very unique, something very different than the norm. So we can hit that genre and hit the cult fans, but also present something new, something a little more artistic for us. The reason why I think this film will be successful is because, A, we have good stories, and B, we have people who are passionate about making movies to tell those stories. And I think when you have a group of people who are passionate about what they do, you inevitably will end up with something that will be very successful. Horrors of War is going to deal with three separate stories. Each story is about a special mission that somehow entails these horror elements. The segment I'm directing is a story about a group of misfit soldiers that on a special mission stumble upon an area of France terrorized by a werewolf. It deals a lot with redemption, it deals a lot with all of the horrible things that can happen in a war. A lot of the characters in my story do horrible things and I want the audience to root for them to get killed in the end. I want them to root for the werewolf. The werewolf winds up being more of the hero of the story. Well, the real crux of it is the lead character, he, all the other characters pay for their actions by getting killed by the werewolf. And that's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is the lead character gets bit by the werewolf and becomes a werewolf because he didn't stop them from doing the horrible things they were doing. My segment in Horrors of War is called Osiris Rising, and, and basically it's about a group of soldiers that go deep into French territory, and they're asked to infiltrate a German genetics laboratory, and they're experimenting with genetics and trying to produce super soldiers. So they stumble across these super soldiers, and you can't kill them. You can shoot at them and they, they keep coming at you. They're, they're kind of like the Hulk and zombies all tied into one. I mean, these guys, you can't kill them. And, and, and it's, not, it's, not, it's not really a horror film. It, it is a horror film. Um, but what it is, it's a, it's a story about, guy, about men in war and trying to survive that together and about characters who have been through the ringer and they've seen their friends die off. And, they've made it through and they don't know why. And it's, it's about young people find, a young person finding themselves and, and, and getting through their first um, basically horrible situation and, and, and changing because of it. And uh, so it's, it's kind of a coming of age at the same time. If you could have a war movie that's kind of a coming of age movie too. Because he, he learns to be a little bit more jaded at the end. And, he, and, and by that, he fits in with the rest of the group. I was originally writing music uh, most of my life, and then my whole goal was always to do soundtracks for movies. Eventually I did, 
and I hated the movie that it was a part of, and I said, I can do better. Rather than be one of those people that says that, I actually endeavored to do better. It goes back quite a ways. I mean, I've always been interested in uh, acting in theater, and that started at a very early age, um, doing theater through school, high school. Um, and then there was a long period of time where I didn't do anything, and uh, got called up by a friend uh, out of the blue from school to come audition, uh, and then did a film with him uh, in the acting role, and through that got to know a lot of filmmakers here locally uh, in the Columbus area, and uh, started off with a short story that I had written a long time ago, and uh, brought that one to life, and I kind of got hooked. Uh, my father was in news, and uh, a lot of times, you know, at that time there were no babysitters. You went with your in the summertime, you went with your dad to work. You know, um, he used to take me and he would watch us and either we would stay in his office or I would disappear off into, the, into a room where I had all this old film editing equipment. And at that time there was a transition from video to film. And uh, so I would just take all this rough footage and edit a bunch of stuff together. And then when he came off the news, I'd say, here dad, watch. And then he'd watch what I did and we'd go home, pat me on the head. And so that was kind of, that, that is kind of what sparked it. And then later in life I attended Ohio State and uh, studied filmmaking. And I worked on uh, you know, low budget features and other people's shorts and I, I DP'd a lot of films. And that's, that's how I kind of uh, grew uh, my interest into a passion at that, at that point. I think it's an it's a interesting mix of horror and the World War II drama. It's trying to present things in that style of Band of Brothers or Saving Private Ryan presenting a horror story in that style, in that genre. I think when it's all said and done, and we're, we're done shooting, and the cameras have stopped rolling, and the sound has been done, and we're sitting in the back of the house, watching with an audience, and they're, they're enjoying it. Because we have three really great stories uh, and that happen to take place in World War II and happen to deal with these other aspects of horror, it's a great blending of those two things. I think it's going to really appeal to people.